Let's now quickly go across to Abhishek. Now, MFIN, which is a regulatory body for MFI institutions, uh, it has tightened norms for lenders to try and check the rising stress in MFI portfolios. Abhishek is joining in. Abhishek, what are the kind of uh, new regulations and the stricter rules that are coming in place? Well, in May 2024, we did highlight that, you know, NPAs are rising in the MFI sector, as well as the fact that there are over-leveraging concerns as well with Credag having six to seven loans per customer. So, now this has uh, caused a spillover with respect to, you know, over-leveraging and that is why the regulator has uh, tightened some of the norms. So, City has written a note wherein they say that exposure to MFI lenders uh, to uh, growth uh, with stress rising during the deleveraging phase, uh, that will continue for them. So, MFIN has tightened some of the lending norms. MFIN has capped the number of lenders to three from four earlier. And uh, they have also capped the maximum indebtedness to about rupees two lakh per customer. Uh, there will be no lending to any borrower who is overdue with more than 60 days of uh, repayment dues, as well as the fact that they seek pan for at least, uh, you know, 50% of the borrowers by FI25. So, City says that 8 to 10% of AUM... Uh, uh, 3 to 4 percent customers have borrowing from more than 4 lenders, 9 percent has borrowing from more than 5 lenders, 7 percent of AUM is exposed to customers with more than rupees 2 lakh of total exposure and about 4.6 percent of AUM that is at portfolio at risk of more than 30 days overdue. Back to you. All right, Abhishek, thanks a lot for that. So these MFI, uh, you know, stocks will be in focus on the back of the news and the brokerages that you just spoke about. But